Mm -hmm. Safe. Safe. Mm -hmm. All yeah. you've got to do is drive safely for 40 minutes. You've got it in the back here. Yeah? yeah. That's all we need to do. Drive lovely and smooth. Well, today it's one good day today with, um, tell him your name. Sam. Sam Pratt, tell them where you're from. Uh, from like Oxfordshire, Oxford. Very posh, very well to do this one. Nice. Um, taught his sister, helped his sister get rid of a bad habit she passed first time. So he comes from good stock, this one. Um, tell them what you're going to do with the money if you pass. Uh, I'll probably give it to my mum. He's been well brought up, hasn't he? Yeah, yeah, mm -hmm. give it to my mum. You know why he's going give to give it to his mum for? Because he said, if I give her it, she'll give us half of it back. <laughs> Didn't you? Well, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> right, yeah. have you any questions, young man? Uh, no, I think so. Just, yeah. Okay, you're going to be out for 38 to 40 minutes, depending on traffic. You're going to take in various traffic and road conditions. One manoeuvre you practice with your trainer, possibly the control stop. And you will be driving independently by way of sat nav signs. We're going to do sat nav. Yeah. Can you say that all right? Yeah. Got no volume on. Now, throughout the drive, I'd like you to follow the road ahead at all times unless you're directed by signs and markings, or unless you get to tell me which you will do some good time. Do you understand that? Yeah. One question I before we start. Yeah. Where would you find the recommended tyre pressures for your car? Uh, in the vehicle handbook. Good, and how would you check them? You will arrive at uh, I'd go to like a petrol station or like a garage if the tyre's like cold. Well, the test yeah. Good. Well, I wish the very best of luck, young man, you. when you're ready. Just turn right out of here and then the sat nav should work. Yeah. Line of fault number one, Sam. You didn't look to the left when pulling out of this car park. Now, you could argue that you looked out the corner of your eyes, so I kind of give you a serious fault for this. Um, but you didn't look left. Now, if you see the car, red car that's parked, had there been two cars parked in those spaces, and you didn't look left, I would give you a serious fault. But you've just pulled out this car park without looking left. You've got the minimum amount of observation is right, left, right, then as many times as necessary. But I have seen them fail here straight away because they don't look left but lucky for you you could argue that you could see on the end of the road left right up here left turn left turn whitfield left. court then at the end of the road turn right and at the end of the road right now this turn certainly right. should work st john's road mm -hmm. Safe to do so. Could you show me how you clean the front window with the washers and wipers? Yeah. After 300 yards, cross the roundabout and take the second exit, A690, Levels Cross Bank. Minor fault number two, Sam. When going straight ahead at a roundabout from the right or left lane, you do not signal right. You don't signal at all until you're ready to leave the roundabout. But you know this anyway. Um, if you signal right and stop other traffic from entering the roundabout because they think you're going back round, then you, you could be looking at a serious fault for that.
Minor fault number three, Sam. This is a 30 mile per hour road and you got up to 33. But you do get a back down. So well done. But you put it there in the first place. 100 yards. Go left on the roundabout and take the second exit. B6532. Drive that road. Minor fault number four, Sam. The sat nav said turn left, second exit. So that means no signal. Uh, I did have a pupil fail here because it said my pupil put the signal on for left, and there was a car in the junction to your left, and they pulled out in front of my pupil, thinking we were turn left. In the examiner, give a serious fault for that one. Um, everybody goes the wrong way on this roundabout, but you take the right exit. So well done, you sir. Follow the road ahead, it's the second exit. Minor fault number five, Sam, you're drifting into this right lane. Had there been anybody in the right lane and come round, they probably would have braid the horn at you. It's very similar why you've done this. You've looked at the second exit instead of looking to the left and looking where your left wheel wants to go as you go around the roundabout. Follow the road ahead, second exit, then take the next immediate right. Retrace our steps. And take the next road to the left. Do you want me to point for you? Yeah, ah, uh, yeah, I can do it. <laughs> wow. Follow the road ahead, it's the second exit. Okay. Mind the fault number six, straight line the roundabout again. Sam, you need to put your eyes to the left, sir. Don't look straight ahead when you're going around the roundabouts. You gain very, very look at this no car in the right hand lane. Dangerous fault number one for you, Sam. Dear me, oh. Um, 
I have to give you a dinge for this, so. Oh. Sam, uh, I'm not sure what you're thinking here, but you know you give way to the immediate right. This van's come round in the right lane. I'm guessing you must have thought it was going right fourth exit, but it was taking our exit. So you know the guidelines. If you don't know where they're going, then you just don't drive onto the roundabout. You give way to your immediate right. Had I let you go here, Sam? He could have sideswiped us. It was it was that fast he was coming round. I'm not sure why you've done this. And I have to take my hat off to you, sir. You, you've done about 13 roundabouts up to now, 12 to 13 roundabouts, and you've never put a foot wrong apart from the two that you've straight-lined. But, yeah, that's them wonderful parents of yours if they don't mind tipping me some danger money. Dear you me, my legs are like jelly after this. Oh, that's bad, that. You shouldn't be doing that, sir. Fault number one for you, Sam. Oh. Sam, this is the third time you've straight lined the roundabout. It's become an habitual fault, so now it goes down as a serious fault. It's very easy to fix, Sam. Just put your eyes towards the left curb as you go around. Yeah, the roundabout, follow the road ahead. It's the third exit. Now, if you drive down to the bottom, <coughs> and turn right and then some parking bays I'd like you to drive it forward into a beer. Okay. Okay, drive forward into one, not reverse into one. Yeah, down down there. Please, yeah, just go down to the right then drive it any one you want. Right. Can you reverse the car to the left there? Yeah. And at the end of the road, turn left. The next road to the right. And then the next road to the left. It was very tight in here. And turn to the left. And then can you drive it forward and it would be of your choice. That'll do, sir. 
Right. What do you think you've done? Uh, I don't know. I thought that, that roundabout was a bit dodgy. Hmm? That roundabout was a bit dodgy. When we, I tried to go. Awesome. Yeah. I don't know. Hmm? Yeah. Right, you've got three times you've done this. You only go straight ahead at a roundabout. Where do you position the car? Uh, right, left hand lane. Mm. Guess what you're doing? Right hand lane, yeah. Well, you're not going in the right lane, that's why um, you drift right over there, but you've done it three times. Yeah, okay. And the next one, mm, you can explain this one to me. Um, this roundabout here. There it is. Yeah. You're here turning left. There's a van there. What made you want to pull off for? Uh, I don't know why. I don't know. I mean, I kind of assumed he was going to stay in his lane. So he'd have yeah, but gone there, can, he, can he go down there? Yeah. yeah. He could have been coming from there and going down yeah, there. Yeah, the yeah. examiner will give you a dangerous there. Yeah. In yeah. Julia. Oh, Sam, that was very disappointing.